All right, everybody. Hello, CryptoVin here, CryptoVin YouTube channel. Thank you for watching as always. Appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to do another review on Mars Floki Inu, uh, another hyperdeflationary meme token. And uh, before I get into that, I just want to mention my disclaimer and uh, also mention uh, my sponsors of this video. So I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Uh, you're responsible for your own investment uh, decisions and, uh, of course, do your own due diligence and invest at your own risk. Okay, so this video is brought to you by Pangolin Coin. Pangolin Coin, proof of stake, open source, decentralized blockchain based cryptocurrency with shielded transactions for real world utilization, shielded transactions via ZK Snarks. Sapling Privacy Protocol. You can stake and set up Masternode. Check out their new token, Baby Penguin Coin. The sale has yet to be announced, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I just want to mention Token Hive. Token Hive is the premier listings tokens tracker. Uh, you can list your favorite token or a token that you happen to own or run or manage or develop. And uh, your community votes for the token. Also, investors that and community members that see the token and you know can check your token out and see if it's something they want to investment invest in as well. You can also uh, win a uh, marketing package if you have the most votes for a month. And right now we have ASX token winning. So check out uh, Token Hive when you get a chance. I'll leave a link in the descriptions of the video. So let's get back to Mars Floki Inu. I'm on their website here, marsflokiinu.finance. So Mars Floki Inu, inspired by Elon's dog. Mars Floki Inu isn't your average cryptocurrency. Elon will take his Floki to Mars. It is the people's cryptocurrency, a movement. Mars Floki Inu will liberate all mankind from the effects of inflation by combining the power of memes with real utility and charitability. Mars Floki Inu gives power and opportunity to the people, to the underdogs instead of venture capitalists and hedge funds. Mars Floki Inu aims to be the most known and most used cryptocurrency in the world. So a couple of important things that I look for um, when I'm looking at these meme tokens that I want to see before I invest in them is if they have an audit report and is it if the liquidity is locked. So you can click on their audit report here and uh, you can read about it. They have a smart contract security audit, Mars Flokino. I'm not going to get into it in detail. I'm trying to keep this video short. But uh, this is something that you want to read and study and to, in order to see if, you know, if this is something you want to invest in as part of your due diligence. And this is in my opinion, of course. So let's just shoot down to uh, eight. I'm just curious here to see, uh, see the security audit part of this report. So here you can see the uh, the vulnerabilities, and uh, looks like they passed it and completed it. Low severity issues exist within smart contracts, are free from any critical or high severity issues. Okay, let's get back to the website. Another thing you want to see is if the liquidity is locked. So let's click on, click on that. You come down here and you can see that I'm on the website called Pink Sale. You can create tokens on Pink Sale. You can launch your token and you can lock liquidity. So here you have uh, the lock date was December 3rd, 2021, and it's locked for 10 months and it'll be unlocked on, looks like, November 24th, 2022. $555,000. Worth is locked, and that's how many tokens are locked. So that's something you want to see. Make sure it's locked. It's called an anti-rug pull. And a rug pull happens when the tokens aren't locked. 
and the developers and owners of the project uh, remove all the liquidity and uh, keep it for themselves and basically the project dies. So basically stealing everybody's um, money that they've invested and locked in the liquidity. Okay, they have their social media links, community. You can scroll down here, Telegram and Twitter. How to buy. So you click on that. We'll scroll down here. So they're talking about Trust Wallet here, purchase Binance Smart Chain, BNB. Go to the dApps at the bottom, find Pancake Swap. iPhone users may need to enable Trust Browser. Select currency, and this is the contract address you want to use. You want to make sure you use the correct contract address. So they're saying set your slippage at 15%, and then swap and confirm the transaction, and it'll the um, tokens will be sent to your wallet. Okay, let's scroll down. So Marsflow Inu daily passive income with every buy and sell transaction fee distributed to loyal holders. Consider them treats. So that's called a reflection. Buyback and marketing and charity. Automatically buyback marketing partnerships and social media influencers. Charities are a community of our community's choice. Uh, spelling error there. Mars Floki Inu auto token burn. So every buy, sell, or transfer a transaction fee is sent to the wallet. Has no access key and is burned forever. So 50% was burned. Total supply, one quadrillion. So they've left out how, what the percentage is. Like, what's the percentage of every transaction that goes to uh, Reflections, the buyback marketing charity wallet, how much goes there? They don't have a percentage. It should be have percentages of how much every transaction goes to these um, protocols here or wallets. So here's where you can buy on Pancake Swap. Here's the contract address. Another thing is, is that you can use MetaMask too. Uh, I'm not really sure why they hadn't mentioned that either. So here's the roadmap. So central exchange listings, marketing plan, NFT marketplace creation, list on L Bank. Market cap stable, NFT game metaverse. So it looks like they want to have an NFT, NFT marketplace, and also a, a metaverse type of a game. And they have this spelled wrong as well. So, I mean, to be honest, there's nothing special about this token, in my opinion. Um, there's a million different tokens out there doing the same thing. So, I mean, what can they do differently? I would ask myself, what can they do differently? What does their team look like? And I, I don't see any any kind of um, link to their team profiles. I like to see names and pictures and LinkedIn profiles and you know all that. It lends credibility to the token, the project. Okay, let's shoot over to their white paper, which I have right here. Here's the introduction. I've scrolled down a little bit. So it's a liquidity-based image token that capacities as a decentralized token created by individuals for individuals. Our platform expects to make a conventional monetary thoughts more trustless, decentralized and motorized in the interim, keeping clients' data information hidden and classified. It fills in a, as confirmation of liquidity token which doesn't allow the capricious spikes to occur and keeps up with the high strength of token costs, providing our symbolic holder with a feeling of power. So I got to be honest with you guys, this is a bunch of gibberish to me. I mean, I don't know if English is not their first language. Uh, I couldn't tell you because I can't find any anybody or any developers listed on the, on the white paper or on the website. I don't know where they're from. 
but uh, this is just a bunch of talking in circles. So it uh, doesn't really make much sense to me. It doesn't really say how they're going to do it. Um, I mean, cryptocurrency is decentralized. It's supposed to be trustless. So it, created by individuals, for individuals. What does that mean? I don't know, really know. Don't don't really understand that. So let's keep reading. Maybe it'll explain it more. At Mars Floki, you know, the most detectable impact occurs right when newbies enter the market and decide to remain. Starting in decentralized exchange space can be overwhelm amateurs. Mars Floki Inu plans to create a, both a preliminary with an exceptionally deflationary liquidity-based DeFi token. And a decentralized neighborhood urges amateurs to remain, be it as vendors or customers of our stage. By setting up this environment, we acknowledge we can add to the sensibility of the current vertical example. So again, it's it's like they're speaking in riddles and gibberish. I'm not really sure what that means. <laughs> so let me know what you think in the comments. What what do you think of Mars Floki Inu so far? What do you think of their white paper? What do you think about this statement or the introduction? Here's their mission. We plan to fulfill our vision of sound environment by making a solid environment for customers by keeping up the deflationary expense of our token and keeping up the awards for our representative holders. We are not hesitant to execute changes to our course of action for everybody's advantage from our neighborhood. Okay, I'm, I, again, it's very confusing. Our own hope to create and gain an after of approaching customers is maintained vivaciously by our elevating endeavors to novices and robust neighborhood to build trust and conquer any issues between the focal gathering and the people from our organic framework. Wow. So I, I'm, again, it's just really, really difficult to understand. Uh, I don't really understand it and I don't really get where they're going with it. I'm uh, just trying to scan over this real quickly. Keeping up the deflationary expense of our token. I guess through buybacks and burns, maybe. And keeping up the awards for our... So the reflections. But that's based, all this is based on people buying and selling the token. Don't really... Right now, besides hype, why would you buy and sell this? So why would you buy it? What What would be the investment? Why would you invest in it? Uh, I guess you're hoping that they make an NFT marketplace or uh, and a, a metaverse game, um, but they don't even talk about that here. So I don't I don't know why are we using BSC? I'll let you read that when you get a chance. Meme coin specialties. Meme coins are cryptocurrencies that have gained popularity in a short amount of time usually because of influencers and retail investors promoting them online. Meme coin is a foe of inflationary picture coin. It is a super deflationary symbol that declines in absolute stock each time a symbolic change occurs. So basically, kind of stating the obvious here, um, if people are just buying and selling a coin because of influencers, and people hyping the coin up. It's really not a long, good long-term investment, in my opinion. Um, I mean, you can always make money on anything. You can make money on a token like this. You can make money on, you know, a, a fundamentally sound token with a viable ecosystem that has 100 plus developers and all that. So, you know, I'm not saying you can't make money on this. Um, that's up to you, but I'm not really seeing anything that's has any uh, credibility to it yet on the, in this white paper. So yes, um, you know all hyperdeflationary tokens, you know theoretically, um, you know their their value theoretically the value is supposed to go up because of burns, buyback, and burns, but that doesn't always happen. 
Well, it depends on how many people are buying, buying and selling it. So a meme coin guarantees that there will be no expansion in the cost of labor and products after some time given fixed stock. There will be no expansion, the increment in the cost of labor. So basically, the, the, the tokens come out all at once in a hyperdeflationary token, whereas an inflationary token, they come out gradually. So that's pretty much what they're saying here. So this is how their ecosystem works. Burn, reflection, retreat, and liquidity. I mean, that's part of an, e that's part of an ecosystem, but there's got to be an, a, a reason to buy it and reason to sell it, and there's got to be utility to it. Um, this, this is not a utility. It's part of an ecosystem, but it isn't. It can't be the whole ecosystem. You have to have a reason. People have to have a reason to buy it, um, like a utility. So, if with if you know without there's millions of tokens that not millions, but there's a lot of tokens that do this. You know, thousands of tokens at this point that have a burn, that have reflections, and they have an automatic liquidity. Uh, percentage of every transaction to go back so it's not it needs more of a utility i mean they're saying that they'll have an nft marketplace in a metaverse game that could be the utility um, that needs to be mentioned here in the ecosystem in my opinion but it's it hasn't been developed yet so they really can't really can't go into too much detail but they could have put something here in my opinion to to show the ecosystem a little bit better than just burns, reflections, and liquidity. So again, how our ecosystem works, burning of tokens, reflection, liquidity. Again, I'm not seeing like how, how much of every transaction is going into these uh, burning of tokens, reflections, and liquidity. It doesn't say, uh, it doesn't say, it says we'll earn a certain percentage. Usually on a hybrid deflationary token, it'll it'll mention that. Our future objectives defined by the highest DeFi token holder who will hold or sell greatest volume of tokens with the same values as our users. And our flagship pancake swap pool, which will be administered by a DAO. So a DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. So every, usually you get one vote. Uh, for every token you hold. And it is an open source blockchain protocol governed by a set of rules, about, which are smart contracts, created by its elected members that automatically execute certain actions without the need for intermediaries. The trading fees generated can be distributed or for token buybacks. How to buy how to buy it again? Reach to the to the link. All right, so that just goes back to the um, website. And I'm not seeing any. You know, there's no team mentioned. The tokenomics. You know, it doesn't say how much of the supply is going to marketing. How much have the how much has the has any tokens gone to the team? I mean, it doesn't say anything about that, so it's really kind of up in the air. You really don't know. It should be mentioned here the breakdown into where the tokens are going. So I think that's going to be about it for Mars Floki Inu. Um, if you haven't already done so, please uh, like, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification bell. That way you get notified of my videos as soon as they come out. Let me know what you, what you think of Mars Floki Inu. Uh, just to show you guys, I'm going to go to uh, go to Coin Market Cap. There, here's Mars Floki Inu on Coin Market Cap. So the the fully full, so the market cap is three million. 194,000 in change. The volume is only $14,000 in volume. Um, so here's the reported circulating supply. 
this is all self-reported. The developers can, re or the team can report themselves to these numbers. Here's this, the contract address. Um, just want to show you guys. So let's go to a popular crypto called Safe Moon. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. Let's go to their website real quick. So I just want to show you they're going to sh they're going to show you the breakdown. So you can see here they're a hyper deflationary token, same as Mars Floki Inu, 4% reflections, 3% goes to liquidity, 2% goes to token burn, 1% is added for the growth of the ecosystem or to develop safe moon. So you can see here this is out of every transaction buy sell and a transfer, this these taxes are taken out out of out of a buy, a sell, and a transfer. So this, I don't, I don't understand why Mars Floki doesn't have that. I, that's something important people need to know. But I just wanted to show you guys an example of of a token token that shows you the individual how it's broken down, what the taxes are broken down are out of every transfer, buy, and sell. Okay, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. Um, let me know what you think of Mars Floki in the comments. I'll leave links into the description of the video. And um, until next time, everyone be safe. And